and then of course you got Fox. <laughs> it's funny it's he's credited as Freddie Fox on one joint and Bumpy Knuckles on another joint, depending on what version of the album you get, right? Streaming is is, is listening differently. What I, I I really wanted to know why what made you have him appear twice? It was his ideas. That's crazy. Fox came up with when the G and the G. He came up with the ideas and you know, ain't no secret. I'm a fan of Freddie Fox. And this is, you know, he had the bumpy stuff thing already, but nobody knew the bumpy thing too much at that time. And that's where Bumpy Knuckles showed up at. Like, really, like, but it was already, he already born Bumpy Knuckles. It's just people didn't know that, that side of him yet. You know what I saying? remember. You know, I remember when the alias started floating around the underground, aka right. Bumpy Knuckles. I think he might have had a single where he named it Bumpy Knuckles. It's like, right. you, I don't know if you understand, like, this album was such a cornerstone in the year 97 that you brought his name to, uh, to a lot of people that wouldn't have known it, you know? Uh, and yeah. It might be weird to say because he's the OG, right? But it's like, Nah, man, like two songs on an album that was highly talked about, it brought a lot of recognition and attention. You know, we saw Freddie Fox bump Knucks. Everybody got familiar with the Bumpy Knuckles name because we saw him on a lot of features after this album. And a lot of prominent joints. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Freddie Fox fan from the Master album. Like, mm. and, and, and further back, like, you know, this is the guy that was supposed to be Eric B's in the sequel for Rock Kim. Right. You know, I know Fox. So, you know. Um, right. The, the heads know Fox. You do that thing. The flavor unit entity known as Freddie Fox, it went quiet for a couple of years unless you were in the underground. So you right. having him on this album introducing the Bumpy Knucks the new iteration. That that's what I'm talking about. And plus, Trexus is mid. You know he's touring with Naughty. So fast forward to nine seven. You know in the midst of him still working, I think he reintroduced himself and reinvented himself with the Bumpy thing. Yeah, absolutely. The the. The, the way he's spitting, I wanted to bring this up. I don't know if you noticed this, and this could just be my interpretation. I try to keep my personal opinion out of this, but I almost it almost felt like on the tracks with him, you got more aggressive too. You attacked the mic a little bit more than you did on other songs. Did you repeat that, or you think that might be a reach? Um, I probably did because I was I was fed out and you know. Um, this is Freddie Fox, man. Like, I see, I'm a, I'm a music enthusiast. I'm a hip hop enthusiast from the inception, from the gate. So to know, um, let me tell you how I got him on there. This okay. show this is me. So I'm working on two wells, and I'm at. Uh, I'm upstairs at another spot called Unique. But from downstairs from Unique Studios is where Pac got shot. Mm, I'm from the quad. Um, quad. So I leave Unique that night to go to McDonald's. It's a McDonald's like a few feet right there on the on the um on the deuce, whatever. And uh who's standing in McDonald's. And I'm like, damn. So um, I knew him, the show business was cool, and I was like, yo, show, I knew Fox on this album. I seen him in McDonald's, but I ain't wanna approach him. You know, wow. he had a female with him, and he just looked like he ain't wanna be bothered. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You don't bother Fox. You don't bother Fox. Yeah, right. he a big dude, and I was a no <laughs> dude at the time, and I'm like, yo, you know, I just asked Show. Show set that whole thing up, and that's how me and Fox became friends, man, and, and work together. And he didn't ask for no bread, even though I offered him bread. He turned it down. He was. A, he actually said he, he, he 
loved my music and I was blown away by that shit. It's gotta be an incredible feeling. Yeah, so he came up with the ideas for those records. That's crazy. You know, you think y'all y'all went way back. Yo, he said this maybe uh like 10 years ago. Me and him and Cream was supposed to do an album together and Cream, you know, was mad busy, but Yo, me and Fox got a, uh, uh, we got a chemistry. Dude. I don't know where that shit came from, but I seen him doing the sway interview one time and he was like, who are you most vibe with when you do collaborations? And I seen him think hard, but I seen him like, I seen him, I see he didn't want to offend anybody. You know, he got a lot of friends too, quite a couple of friends in the game. And he was like, yo, I did what I do with Tretch is what I do with Tretch. What I do for me and old guy. And we only made a couple of records together, but just being in the studio with him, yo, I can close my eyes and turn my back and we'll come up with something that's amazing. It, it, it really is. It's, it's one of those those chemistries that you know. I guess you can't make it up. It just it, it happens organically. It happens. 